something. Maybe we'll find a deer or a boar or maybe even a peacock. I hear there are peacocks in the forest around this palace. Yes, my Shekhi, and peacocks are what we are hoping to catch. There is no feast like a peacock feast. I don't think there are any peacocks in the forest. <sighs> don't be so pessimistic, Marie Therese. Um, we'll find a peacock and we'll hunt it and we'll kill it and then we'll roast it and pluck it and we'll have a gigantic feast. King Louis, your majesty. I have an announcement. Manda, you cannot just come in here and make announcements whenever you'd like. Can't you see we are in the courtyard with one of the servants? We are busy. Excuse me, she's not just one of our servants. She's Marie Therese Louise of Savoy, Princess de Lamballe, Surintendant de la Maison de la Reine, and her friendship, as I have told you before, is a charm of my life. Yes, yes, our servant is your friend, I get it. Yeah, so maybe you shouldn't insult me? But you're her servant. Your job is to be insulted. That's not my job, but okay. Sire, so, uh, can I make my announcement now? Manda, if I let you make your announcements, then everyone will want to make an announcement. And unlike certain others, <clears throat> I do not play favorites with my servants. So, do you want me to let everyone make an announcement then, Manda? Well, I was told that I must make this announcement, so... Yes? Well, okay then! Ma chérie, do you have any announcements? No. And you, servant lady? I'm Marie Therese. That's a no. Ethan, do you have any announcements to make? No from him as well. Does anybody else have any announcements that they would like to make? Well, I was told that I was supposed to make this announcement urgently, so... Really? By who? You see By you. No, I know. no, shut you, you're not... You're not supposed to say that. You'll ruin the surprise. Right. Can I make my announcement now? Ladies, Manda has an announcement he would like to make. I wonder what it could be. Maybe announcing the return of a beloved old friend. Who knows? Royals of France, I am pleased to announce the return of a beloved friend to your glorious nation. There is truly no nation stronger, powerful, and sexier than the magnificent kingdom of France, owned by the... Do I have to read this? Yes, keep reading. Owned by the most amazing man to ever set foot on this planet, nay, the universe, King Louis the 16th. His greatness knows no bounds, and he is known for performing impossible feats of strength with and you know what, I'm just gonna skip this part. No, you can't skip it, it's the best part! I strongly disagree. I strongly disagree, I strongly disagree with your face. Oh, was that supposed to offend me? Am I supposed to go cry now? Yes, but you're an alligator. What? Shut up, Manda, keep reading. Hmm, right. Where, where was I? The part about my magnificence. No, I, I already read that part while you two are arguing. Really? Did yeah. he? Yes, he did. Well, you must be a very fast reader then, because that part went on for quite a while. Yeah, anyway, so, blah blah blah, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our visitor who has recently returned home from America. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchman. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. Lafayette. Uh, I'm taking this horse by the reins. Make a light coat with blood stains. Lafayette. And I'm never gonna stop till I make him drop and burn him up and scatter the remains. Lafayette. Watch me engaging him, escaping him, and raging him, Mom. Lafayette. I go to France for more funds. Lafayette. And I come back with more guns and ships. And so they balance shifts. Look, ma chérie, it's Lafayette. He's back from America. <laughs> oui, I have returned to France. <laughs> yes, he has. There is no one as sexy, I mean handsome, I mean strong as Lafayette. <laughs> he is the best. <laughs> I am the best. <laughs> they call me Lafayette. The... The... The Lafayette best! <laughs> because because I am the best! It's the best! It is a fact! So much testosterone in one place. 
thought you were on house arrest. <laughs> oui, but it was only for Ridger. It was merely for Louis to save face. <laughs> so why did you think this would be a surprise? Because he is no longer on house arrest. And because I'm the greatest general to ever exist! Yes! <laughs> Manda, if you ever become a general, which you never will be, this is the man you will have to compete with. And no one can replace Lafayette. <laughs> Ladies, I have great news for you. Lafayette is joining us on the hunt. Kill me now. <sighs> We have to bring this servant along. The servant will whoop your ass if you call her that again. I am more of a noble than you are. Wait, is that true? Please do not tell me that that is true. Well, technically, but no one likes her anyway. Louis, can we talk? That's king, Louis. Too. Ow, ow, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Can you behave yourself? What do you mean? Can you be nice to Marie-Thérèse for one day? Wait, isn't Marie-Thérèse our daughter's name? Did you name our daughter after that evil monster? See, right there. Is it too much for you to just be nice to her for just one second? But she's a soul-sucking vampire. Did we have to bring her? You invited Lafayette and you're asking me that? Yes, but you love Lafayette. No, you love Lafayette. Everyone loves Lafayette. Mon cher, you know what he's doing in America just as well as I do. Yes, he's causing revolutions. That's great. Good for him. But what if that causes our people to revolt? Our people will not revolt. France is great. They love it. They love us. They love me. Yes, but he's a supporter of revolutions. What happens Mon cher, he... relax. Even if our people were to revolt against us and revolutionize or whatever, all that nonsense, Lafayette would defend us. He's on our side. Yes, well, that's not the point I'm trying to make. I'm just trying to say that I may not like Lafayette, but at least I don't go around insulting him every five minutes or whatever. <laughs> Please, can you just be nice to Marie-Thérèse just for today? Do I have to? Yes, yes you do. And can you please stop acting like you and Lafayette are, are, are in your own little world? You do this every single time he comes. It's just, I haven't seen him in so long. Look, if you do this, I'll let you name our next child after him. Okay, deal. Wait, just... Do you love Lafayette more than me? I believe it is in my best interest to not answer that question. <laughs> so, ever met George Washington? Piss off. <laughs> can, can somebody teach me how to shoot a gun? <laughs> it's simpler, really. You just point and shoot. Wow, that is extremely helpful advice. <laughs> oui, well, I had to put it into simpler terms for those of us here who are uneducated. <laughs> is that supposed to be an insult? Come on, you can do better than that. You want me to do better? Well, I can do better then. Oh my God, just shut up. We're not here to insult each other. We're here to have a good time, not to fight. As if Lafayette can fight. Oh, I can fight. I can fight so hard and gracefully, I could strangle you Enough like I... Uh, How about you and I go up ahead? Come, <laughs> uh, let's go. What is that idiot doing? Trying to name our next child Lafayette. Do you see any peacocks anywhere? Uh, I actually saw one earlier today. Really? Where? In my balls! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is too good. A peacock in your, in your pants. <laughs> Actually, speaking of my peacock, I have to go pee pee. Yeah. Could you please hold my gun while I go in that bush over there? Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a peacock. That is too funny. Oh, I, I have to tell the ladies. There is, there, there is a, a peacock in that bush over there. Oops. You know, I probably should have explained the joke first. Uh. 
Lafayette, uh, thank you for joining us on our hunt. Yes, it was very pleasant to have you with us today. Pleasant? Sure, pleasant. Let's go with that. Again, je suis très désolé about your injury. In my defense, you tell the joke a lot better than I do. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, you know, next time maybe we could go play tennis instead. I know you love the tennis courts in Versailles. Sure, we'll see. Monda, stop holding the man. Just, just let him leave. No, he doesn't want to leave, right? He, he loves us. He loves this country. You love, you love me, right, Lafayette? I, I think he's ignoring you, Sire. Oh, shut up, Manda. And why is your clothes so baggy? You look like a peasant. This is the uniform you gave me. It doesn't fit. It always fits. Eventually. And what's with that nose thing? You want to look like that one over there? Louis, that is it! We're not naming our next kid Lafayette. No! <laughs> I'm just going to dinner with the person I love the most in the world. Me, right? Yes! You! Of course! Of course! Oh, of course! Oh, je suis femme. Uh, when is dinner going to be ready again? Oh. What? Wouldn't it be?